U.S. Navy Captain Barry Wilmore grew up in Mount Juliet, Tennessee, a suburb of Nashville. It's a place and time he remembers for great friends and a great school program that nurtured his natural impulses. My parents, my mom specifically, told me that my first word was not mama or daddy, it was why. I've always, always been inquisitive and you know, what's out there and how's that work and, and those, type of, those type of thoughts have always been within me. After high school in Mount Juliet, Wilmore walked on to the football team at Tennessee Technological University, despite being what he describes as slow, small, and weak. But his urge to know why kicked in, and he earned a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering. Then, what he calls a patriotic tug pulled him to the Navy. After finishing flight school and picking up the call sign Butch, Wilmore made two deployments during Operation Desert Storm, then went to the Navy Test Pilot School, and later earned two master's degrees, one in aviation systems from the University of Tennessee, and the other in electrical engineering from TTU, before making two more overseas deployments. Then he taught at the Navy's and the Air Force's test pilot schools before being selected as an astronaut in 2000. Wilmore made his first space flight as the pilot on a space shuttle mission that delivered express logistics carriers and other parts to the International Space Station in late 2009. This mission gives him the chance to push the boundaries of human knowledge. We do science and various things, hopefully for the betterment of mankind. That's why the station exists, so we can turn around what we learn there and, 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 and use it here on Earth. That's our purpose. And to, to go and, and have the opportunity to do that, like I said, is, is very, very humbling.